Zhang Tianyu slowly opened his eyes. A soft female voice sounded in my mind. Yo, are you awake? Zhang Tianyu trembled instantly, his eyes widened suddenly, and he quickly woke up. The female voice continued. The operation was successful, you are now a... Zhang Tianyu was shocked for a moment, and subconsciously looked down. Soul Master. Ah? Zhang Tianyu looked bewildered, but he could indeed feel that his limbs are healthy now. Looking around, he realized that he was lying in a deserted alley. Soul Master? What do you mean? Could it be that I crossed over? Who is talking? Why does the sound not go to the ear but directly to the brain? Is it a system cheat? Zhang Tianyu lowered his head and glanced carefully. Sure enough, his body has shrunk, his hands are small, his arms are thin and short, and his little feet are also very cute. Mother, I'm rejuvenated, depend on, have I really crossed the Duluo continent? Yes, this is Notting City, Duluo continent. The voice in my head rang again, I am your system, and since I will take care of you in the days to come, I will take care of you when you called mom just now. Accepted. You accept a chicken feather, you. Hint. Don't use this kind of words to refer to yourself, the system said. Zhang Tianyu. Hey, what the hell, bickering with grandpa, right? You wait for me, wait for me to slow down, I won't beat you to death. Soon, he figured out the status quo, he came to Duluo Dalu in his body, replaced the original Zhang Tianyu here, and returned to the state when he was six years old. His identity is set to be a work-study student from Wang Hun village. He is equipped with the top-level buff of both parents died, as standard. The martial soul is a wooden sword, and has level 2 soul power, and has become a glorious soul master. Level 2 soul power, at that time, a group of children were all boiling. Looking at Zhang Tianyu is like looking at Tidal Duluo. Stopping the memory playback and withdrawing his thoughts, Zhang Tianyu couldn't calm down for a long time. First of all, today I managed to ask the girl I just met yesterday and chatted for two hours to open a hut. Seeing the girl shyly entered the bathroom, I just took off my clothes, and you dragged me to the bucket Luo Dalu, is this appropriate? Is there still a king's law? Anyway, give me three hours to finish my business. It's good now, when the girl comes out of the shower, I'm dead, and there's only a pile of clothes left, boy, just change the ghost line, right? If a living person like me is gone, and only a girl is left there, the police will definitely think that I am missing, and regard the girl as the first suspect. Isn't this killing other girls? Furthermore, the name, Village of the Dead, is outrageous. The name of the village can be grounded, but it can't be grounded. Finally, as a time traveler, Wu Hoon Wooden Sword, Still level 2 soul power? Count NMD ball, just reopen it, okay? The system said, your finishing work on earth has been done. Okay, your system can deal with it. Then I am also a person with golden fingers. Wooden sword martial soul, level 2 soul power, is it too embarrassing to be your host? At least you have to have a martial arts like the seven killing sword. Soul, and be born full of soul power. Want it? The system asked. Of course I want nonsense. I've worn them all. Not to mention being a chicken head in the Time Traveler League, at least I can't be a chicken butt. Reminder. Activate the task, officially entering the pit. Mission objective. To cheat Yu Shaoging once, there is no limit to the method of cheating, and the consequences are not limited, but it cannot cause his death, and he cannot see that you are cheating him, otherwise the task failed. Task reward. Innate full soul power, reward point plus one. Zhang Tianyu. Um. I understand the principle of getting rewards for doing tasks, but why do you want to cheat people? System. If you don't cheat, can a scumbag count as a person? You don't want to cheat a scumbag? No, what I mean is, Zhang Tianyu said, why cheat him, how bad it is, how unkind. Can't we just kill him directly? It's okay to kill him, but at least you have to cheat him for 20 years first, the system said. I'll take it. Zhang Tianyu agreed on the spot, even if you don't give me the reward of innate soul power, I'll still take it. I'm so hard to come here, even if the girl doesn't flirt, but Yu Xiaoging must die. All the scum the man and the dog liquor must all die. Hint. The compatibility between the host's three views and the system is perfect. Therefore, the task reward has been increased. Add another level to the innate full soul power. All right, one more level of free whoring, the most comfortable whoring is the most comfortable. Zhang Tianyu walked out of the alley, came to the bustling street, asked a few people casually, and easily arrived at the gate of Notting College. 
According to the plot, Tang San's grandfather and grandson haven't come yet, and Yu Xiaoging came after them, so at this moment, Yu Xiaoging must be in Notting City. System, can you locate him for me? Reminder, after activating the system, the host has a chance to activate an auxiliary function for free. After activation, this auxiliary function will exist forever. May I ask whether to activate the Marauder Map function? With this function, you can locate the current city anytime, anywhere anyone. Zhang Tianyu said, then what are you waiting for, activate. Prompt. Activation successful. With a thought in Zhang Tianyu's mind, a bird's eye view map of Notting City immediately appeared in his mind. The locations of all major buildings on the map were clear at a glance. Then with another thought, Yu Xiaoging's location was immediately highlighted. It's three blocks away from here, I'm wandering. Okay, it's great, wait, I'm going to find you right now. Found it. When he came to the street where Yu Xiaoging was, Zhang Tianyu locked him at a glance. Although the appearance is ordinary and popular, but the smell of scum on his body can be smelled hundreds of meters away. But if the person is found, how should we start to get rid of it? Zhang Tianyu has always been a good citizen who abides by the law and has never done anything to deceive others. Just as he was thinking about how to cheat people, the prompt sounded. Reminder. The target has been locked. The host can think of ways to cheat people by himself, or choose to use the cheating props given by the system. 1. Foot oil, remote, after use, it can make the target fall a dog and eat X for 20 seconds. 2. Pepper bomb, long range, after using it, the target will sneeze and burst into tears for 15 seconds. 3. Fatigue bug, long range, the target will become more and more tired as time goes by after using it, and will fall to the ground and lethargic within half an hour. Zhang Tianyu cheered up, they all sound good, which one should I choose? At this moment, his eyes suddenly lit up, because he found that Yu Xiaoging was walking forward while scanning the shops on both sides of the street, and not far in front of him, there was a pet dog of unknown family who was urinating everywhere. Choose foot oil decisively, issued to the storage space. Zhang Tianyu looked up at Yu Xiaoging who was unaware, and smiled wickedly. At this time, is it the master? Master hello? Master, do you have time to go out for a stroll today? Master. Why don't you come into the store? Many people in the shops on both sides know the master. After all, there is only one sole master academy in Notting City, and the master is a celebrity in the academy, so naturally many people know him. Yu Xiaoging nodded dumbly in return. Hello, I won't go in for a stroll, there are other things to do ah. Slip. Yu Xiaoging didn't even have the time to react, the soles of his feet suddenly slipped. His whole body immediately lost his balance, and he fell towards the pet dog extremely quickly. The pet dog jumped in fright, and hurriedly left the big strip in shock and fled. Yu Xiaoging was even more terrified, watching his face getting closer and closer to the big strip. Oh no! Luo San! Thump! It was too late to call Luo San Pao, Yu Xiaoging accurately hit the free defecating pet dog. Fortunately in misfortune, he was a soul master at any rate, he turned his head at the critical moment, and his head didn't touch it, but it was firmly pressed against the clothes. For a moment, the air was quiet. Everyone stared blankly at this scene. Oh my god, this is too scary. Master he, he, he fell on the shit. Master, are you okay? Ouch master, you didn't hurt from the fall, did you? It's disgusting, whose dog is this, why is it defecating on the street? That's right, it's too hateful. People in the shops on both sides of the street said one after another, and some people came out to help, but when they got closer, the strong smell stopped them in their tracks. It's okay, there's nothing serious. Yu Xiaoging braced himself to stand up, his face was on fire. What's the situation? Why did he suddenly fall down inexplicably? And it's okay to fall, but to fall on this piece of shit, oh my god, it's disgusting. No, I have to leave here quickly and find a way to find a new suit to change into. Thinking of this, he walked away, but, a brace. His feet slipped again, and he fell to the ground again with a plop. Once again, fell on the shit. This, what exactly is going on? People on both sides of the street looked stupid. Good guy, did you really fall on the ground? If you didn't pay attention to what you tripped over before, then you have nothing in front of you now, why did you fall on the ground? And it fell on shit with perfect precision, did you like this thing so you fell on it on purpose? 
Yu Xiaoging got a little angry, stood up and strode to leave, barking. Three plum blossoms. Good guy, after falling three times in a row, Yu Xiaoging's clothes have changed color. Hateful. Asshole. What the hell happened today? Yu Xiaoging was incompetent and furious, the smell on his clothes was too strong, he was already dizzy, his stomach was rolling, and he wanted to vomit. No one noticed that in the shadowy corner of the street corner stood a man gloating at his misfortune. Soon, Zhang Tianyu had a look of regret. Originally, he was thinking of having a big four after the three plum blossoms, but Yu Xiaoging couldn't get up when he was lying on the ground. When he stood up again, the twenty-second duration of the soul oil had passed. Twenty seconds is still too short, Xu Lun. Yu Xiaoging tried to stand up and walk a few steps. Finally, he didn't slip this time, and he left the scene as quickly as possible. Reminder. The task is completed, the soul power has been increased by 9 levels, the current soul power is level 11, reward point 1 is obtained, and the current possession and reward point is 1. Feeling the crazy increase in strength, Zhang Tianyu exhaled comfortably. It can also cheat Yu Xiaoging and improve his strength, so happy. Back at the gate of Nodding College, Zhang Tianyu happened to see an old man leading a child towards the gate. Opening the Marauder's Map, sure enough, it was Tang San and Old Jack. Reminder. Activate the mission, meeting gift, mission objective, to trap Tang San once, with unlimited methods and unlimited consequences, but it cannot cause his death, and he cannot see that you are cheating him, otherwise the mission will fail. Task Reward, Full Level, Ghost Shadow, Reward Point Plus One. Zhang Tianyu immediately showed a hearty smile, raised his hand and pointed at Tang San. Next is you, Tang San, system, I want to use pepper bombs this time. Yes, it takes one point to redeem, please ask if you want to redeem it. Confirm cancellation Zhang Tianyu. Ah, why do you need to exchange it? Didn't you not need to exchange it just now? Both cheating props need to be exchanged with reward points. Just now, because it is the first cheating task, you can use it once for free, so that the host can get familiar with the usage and effects of cheating props. Then I'm only familiar with a foot oil, and I haven't tried pepper bombs and fatigue bugs yet? Do you have to let me experience them all? System. It stands to reason that this is impossible. Zhang Tianyu immediately put on his thick skin face. I am the host, right? You just said clearly that you will take care of me in the future. You are the system, so you can't count your words. This. Hurry up, Ah Tong. I can't wait, open your mouth quickly, agree quickly, now Tang San is standing at the school gate, I haven't shown up yet, the opportunity is rare. Reminder. The system thinks that what the host said is reasonable, so the free trial permissions for pepper bombs and fatigue bugs have been granted once, and they have been distributed to the storage space, please check. This system is really easy to deal with. Hey, if this is a real chick, it can be sent to the bathroom in an hour and a half. Taking out the pepper balls from the system space, Zhang Tianyu quietly hid in the shadow of the corner, staring at Tang San's grandfather and grandson, silently waiting for the opportunity. At this moment, the concierge's shady voice came. Can the grass nest still produce golden phoenixes? There are people in a small village who have soul power. The college has not had work-study students for many years. You are not counterfeit, are you? Yo, it's exactly the same as the lines in the novel. And your voice is not low, I can hear it from the corner of the street, you are also a soul master, right? Your woohoon has a golden voice? A flash of anger flashed in old Jack's eyes, but he still swallowed his anger and took out the certificate issued by Su Yun Tao, the deacon of Wuhun Temple last time, and handed it to the concierge. The concierge took the certificate, looked up and down, and laughed even louder. Martial soul blue silver grass. Innately full of soul power? It's funny, this is really a joke in the world. I also worked as a concierge in the academy for four years oh, I haven't heard of a student who is born with full soul power, this kid's martial soul is blue silver grass, can he still be full of soul power? I think this certificate from the spirit hall must have been forged by you. You. No matter how good-tempered Jack was, he couldn't bear it anymore, you're making things difficult on purpose. Okay, wait, I'll go to the deacon of the Wuhun branch hall. Little San, let's go with that said, Jack led Tang San around and walked towards the city. Returning the Holy Soul Village, I think the beggar village is not too bad. What did you say? Old Jack turned and asked angrily. Why? I'm not convinced. I said you came from a village of beggars, is it wrong? 
Look at this little poor man, his clothes are all patched up. I think you should find a place to beg. Are not in college at S. Not Shantang, get out, get out. You are going to be beaten, Zhang Tianyu said in his heart. But don't worry, the master is here to help you deal with Tang San today, and I guarantee that you won't be beaten so badly. Sure enough, as in the original book, after hearing the stinky mouth of the concierge, Tang San exploded, and came to old Jack in a flash, and directly used the move, push the window to look at the moon, clasped the concierge's wrist with one hand, and put one foot on the ground. Behind the porter's feet, the other hand pushed towards the porter's stomach, and as long as Tang San exerted more strength, the porter would be directly pushed down by this move, push the window and look at the moon. All of this happened too fast. Tang San was originally a family trainer, and he had all his martial arts skills. He had been swinging a sledgehammer at home for several months. Can't react at all. Just when Tang San slapped the concierge's belly with his palm, and the concierge showed a surprised expression. Ah, Tang San suddenly sneezed hugely without warning. In an instant, it was as if a ton of pepper powder had been poured into the nostrils, sore, itchy and painful, and tears gushed out of the eyes like a tsunami. Ah, followed by another sneeze, Tang San withdrew his hand and vigorously wiped his nose and tears, this was completely his body's instinctive reaction. The concierge finally came to his senses and subconsciously kicked it out. Boom, Tang San said, ah, and was kicked out directly. That's right, Tang San was killed by the porter this time. Zhang Tianyu froze for a moment, then oh. All rise, this moment, the history of Duluo has been rewritten. The concierge finally raised his eyebrows once, and beat Tang San in turn. Tang San, oh Tang San, you also have today. This is just a small beginning, in the future I will trick you in various ways, he he he. You, old Jack was stunned, you, you bastard. You humiliated us. You even beat someone, he is only such a small child, and you beat him like this. The concierge continued to speak badly, old man, you figure it out. It was this brat who rushed over suddenly, grabbed my hand, and wanted to hit me, I just fought back. You were the one who humiliated us first. Old Jack helped Tang San up, looking at the tearful Tang San, old Jack was bleeding from his heart. How did I humiliate you? Look for yourself, isn't his clothes full of patches? Isn't he a little beggar? And he's a little beggar who is overwhelmed. Shut up. An angry shout came, which immediately startled the concierge and old Jack. The concierge shrank his neck hard, looked up, and immediately had a flattering face. Master, you, are you back? At this time, Yu Xiaoging had already changed into a new suit, with uncontrollable anger on his face. As the concierge of Notting College, you are the face of Notting College, what have you done? At this time, some passers-by were already watching. In the novel, there are basically no passers-by watching, because the commotion was small, and the master quickly quelled the storm, but this time it was different, the master was busy changing clothes, so he came late, and Zhang Tianyu secretly tricked Tang San Yi, causing the concierge to kill Tang San, and Tang San's tearful expression under the effect of pepper balls. No matter in any world or plane, an adult who kicks a child flying with such a rough kick will arouse the resentment and dissatisfaction of others. The porter at Notting College beat the child? It's not a fight, it's a kick, so arrogant? The people of the Soul Master Academy are like cow beer, even a concierge is so crazy. The concierge broke out in cold sweat, Master, I, I'm not, he did it first. Shut up. Get out of Notting College. Notting College doesn't need a concierge like you. I will go to the dean to explain the situation later, now, immediately, immediately, get out. Yu Xiaoging was already furious with shit, but when he came to the school gate, he saw the concierge kicking a child away, and heard the whispers from the people around him, which directly ignited his anger. Ignoring the collapsed concierge, Yu Xiaoging quickly walked to Tang San's side and helped Tang San up. At this moment, the effect of the pepper balls had long since passed, Tang San had already returned to normal, he was more concerned about why his nose suddenly hurt so much than the concierge's kick. What kind of poison? Yu Xiaoging said, son, are you alright? I'm really sorry for letting you go through this kind of thing. My child, I'll help you up and I'll take you to treatment. I'm fine. Tang San stood up and patted the dust off his clothes. He is really fine, the concierge is just an ordinary person, and the subconscious kick didn't have much strength, 
if Tang San, who was born full of soul power, was kicked by an ordinary person and got into trouble, he might as well find a cesspit and jump into it to commit suicide. Little San, don't hold back, old Jack said with a worried expression on his face, just now you were in so much pain that you cried a lot. Yes, child, you cried so much just now, why are you okay? Yu Xiaoging said softly, don't be afraid, I'm a teacher at Notting College, and I won't harm you. I'm really fine, Tang San said, just now I just had a bad nose, so I kept sneezing and weeping, and then I was attacked by that concierge, his kick didn't hurt me, Grandpa Jack, teacher, you really don't have to worry. Yu Xiaoging, old Jack, sudden nose pain? What's the reason? The two of them obviously didn't believe it, just when Yu Xiao was about to speak, Tang San said, after all, I'm born with full spirit power, and his kick didn't hit my vitals, I'm not that weak. Innate full of soul power? Yu Xiaoging was taken aback, old man, can you show me the certificate of the Wuhun Palace? Looking at this proof, Yu Xiaoging scolded all 18 generations of the concierge's ancestors in his heart. Congenitally full of soul power, what does this mean? Although the martial soul is only a mere blue-silver grass, it is absolutely impossible for the blue-silver grass to have innate full soul power, so this means that this child must have twin martial souls, he must have a very powerful martial soul, and his innate full soul power it was brought by this powerful martial soul. The damn concierge, almost let the college miss such an outstanding student. This Wuhundian certificate is true. Yu Xiaoging said, old man, child, I once again solemnly apologize to you on behalf of the academy. Seeing the master's attitude so sincere, the anger in old Jack and Tang San's hearts also dissipated, old Jack said, I have nothing, mainly the child. I know, Yu Xiaoging nodded, Tang San, even if you are innately full of spirit power, I will ask a healing soul master to check and treat you later, old man, don't worry about giving this child to me. Old Jack nodded in satisfaction, explained a few words, and walked away step by step. At the same time, Zhang Tianyu walked over cheerfully. The reward is here, full level ghost shadow trace. Once the skill of Super Bull B is used, it will be full of phantoms, making the enemy elusive and unable to determine his position. He tried it himself, and it was really awesome. Whether the enemy can determine his position, he does not know. Anyway, he himself was unable to determine his position. Hint. It's the same as when you first ride a new energy electric car, you will feel dizzy after the car accelerates. As long as you get familiar with it and your body adapts, it will be fine. Coming in front of Yu Xiaoging and Tang San, Zhang Tianyu rubbed his forehead that was a little red and swollen, and asked, Excuse me, are you a teacher of this academy? Yu Xiaoging asked, What's the matter with you? Zhang Tianyu took out the Wuhundian certificate. I am a work-study student from Wang Hun village, this is my Wuhundian certificate, please take a look. Yu Xiaoging took it, the wooden sword martial spirit and only a mere level 2 soul power made the expression on his face unchanged. Okay, you come in with me too. Just looking at this face makes me want to punch him. Tang San is born full of spirit power, you are as excited as a fly-smelling shit. My spirit power is level 2, you have no fluctuations, it's too real. Hint. Host, are you saying that you are worse than shit? You really are a tricky little clever ghost. The three walked into the campus, and Tang San said again, Teacher, I know my own physical condition. I'm really not injured and don't need treatment. I think I don't need to bother, and go directly to complete the admission process. Seeing his insistence, Yu Xiaoging nodded, If you feel uncomfortable, you must tell me immediately. What happened? Zhang Tianyu asked, what was injured and healed? The eyes of the two people looked at him, and he spread his hands, ah, shouldn't I ask? Yu Xiaoging sighed, Tang San looked past Zhang Tianyu, and looked at the concierge who left in a daze at the gate, a fierce look flashed in his eyes, it's nothing, just a little conflict with that concierge. What conflict? Zhang Tianyu continued to ask. Yu Xiaoging, Tang San. Reminder, host, you are so skinny. It's nothing, just a little conflict, Tang San said. A skirmish? How can a skirmish hurt? Still need treatment? Both Yu Xiaoging and Tang San felt their anger rising. Damn, do you have to keep which pot unopened and which pot to carry? Don't you see we don't want to talk more? Ask. Ask what to ask. Hint, host, if you play like this, you will be beaten, but look at their expressions. Host, you play really well then there is no reward or anything, 
Zhang Tianyu asked in his heart. Hint. No, don't ask me anymore, Yu Xiaoging finally couldn't stand it anymore, and said, it's all over, and I will take you to the academic affairs office to complete the registration and go through the admission process. Good teacher. Tang San said obediently, pretend, the real Nima can pretend. As for your murderous look just now, if your eyes could kill, the whole school would be able to eat as a concierge tonight. Now you pretend to be harmless to humans and animals? Yu Xiaoging shook his head. Actually, strictly speaking, I am not a teacher of this school, I am just a resident who eats and drinks here. You are like everyone else, call me master. Everyone calls me that. I've even forgotten my own name. The certificate of Wuhundian states that your name is Tang San, right? Tang San, you have to understand that the meanings of master and teacher are very different, so don't make mistakes in the future, unless, unless you really want me to be your teacher. Do you want to teach me martial arts? Tang San asked. The master stopped and stood still facing Tang San, then are you willing? Tang San didn't speak, but looked at Yu Xiaoging fixedly. Yu Xiaoging didn't speak, and the two looked at each other silently. Zhang Tianyu standing aside. What's with this weird, ambiguous atmosphere in the air? Sure enough, reading a book is different from being there, Zhang Tianyu feels that these two people seem to have a romantic relationship. You two want to have sex in public or what? The atmosphere became more and more philosophical, Zhang Tianyu couldn't stand it anymore, and subconsciously started to stay away from these two people. He was afraid that the two would suddenly get violent, so he dragged him to fencing. But he thought too much. After the two were silent for a while, Yu Xiaoging put forward the theory of twin martial souls, Tang San subconsciously looked towards Zhang Tianyu, saw that Zhang Tianyu was some distance away from the two of them, so he relaxed tone. After all, he promised Tang Hao not to reveal the secret of the twin spirits. If Zhang Tianyu heard about it, he would have to kill to silence it. What a dog! Zhang Tianyu said in his heart, wanting to silence me, right? Okay, just wait, and see if I can't cheat you to death in the future. Quietly listening to Yu Xiaoging finished talking about the twin spirits, Tang San kowtowed to the ground to formally apprentice. Yu Xiaoging helped him up, a happy smile appeared on his wooden face. Joy, isn't it, you can't close your legs from laughing, you should have a good laugh while you can still laugh. Afterwards, he took Tang San's hand and was about to report to the academic affairs office, completely forgetting about Zhang Tianyu. There is no way, with such a genius with twin martial souls and full soul power in front of him, who would care about a poor student with only two levels of soul power and a martial soul that is a trash wooden sword? Zhang Tianyu has long been used to the warmth and coldness of the human world, and he doesn't care if he is ignored, but what he didn't expect was that although Yu Xiaoging forgot him, Tang San did not forget him, and said to Yu Xiaoging, Teacher, there is also Zhang Tianyu. Oh, that's right. Yu Xiaoging patted his head, then turned around and waved. The three came to the academic affairs office, completed the registration, and when they walked out, they heard several teachers in the academic affairs office taunting, The master is indeed, invincible, but it is theoretically invincible. Of course, his theories must be able to it needs to become a reality. Director, I still remember that the master said something about the ten core competitiveness of Wu Hun. That is simply too ridiculous. That's enough, Grandmaster is the dean's friend. Don't judge yourself. Although no one has proved his theory to be correct, no one has proved his theory to be wrong. In the Wu Hun world, Grandmaster is a well-known figure. No, Director, it should be a well-known clown. Everyone just thinks he's a joke. When the wanton laughter came, Tang San's face was a little cold, and a disdainful smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. He didn't pay attention to these teachers, and turned around to leave, but Zhang Tianyu suddenly pushed the door open. The sound stopped abruptly, Director Su asked. Student Zhang Tianyu, do you have anything else to do? Teacher, what were you laughing at just now? Tang San. Teachers. Ah, it's nothing, I just think of happy things. Zhang Tianyu asked innocently, what's so happy? Your wife gave birth. Tang San turned around and covered his mouth, so as not to laugh out loud. A strange look flashed across the faces of several teachers, and Director Su coughed. You don't need to worry about this, go to the dormitory building and find your dormitory. After closing the door, Tang San looked at Zhang Tianyu, who shrugged. Seven dormitories. As soon as the two of them entered the door, everyone in the dormitory glanced at them. 
A new work-study student, Wang Shang led the crowd over. The two nodded, Tang San said, Hi, I'm a work-study student from Holy Soul Village. I'm from the underworld. Oh no, I'm from Wang Hun Village, Zhang Tianyu said. Wang Shang seems to be quite satisfied with their attitude. My name is Wang Shang, and Wu Hun is Zhang Yu, the future war hunter. I am also the boss here. What are your two names? What is Wu Hun? My name is Tang San, and my spirit is Blue Silver Grass. Blue Silver Grass? When will the Blue Silver Grass Wu Hun be able to cultivate? Wang Shang put on an extremely surprised look, and most of the children in the dormitory burst into laughter, looking at Tang San like they were idiots. Please let me go? Tang San still had a smile on his face. Wang Shang ignored him and turned to Zhang Tianyu. What about you? Zhang Tianyu, Wu Hun Wooden Sword. Wooden Sword? Can wooden swords also be cultivated? The wanton laughter came again. Wang Shang raised his hand and pressed it, and the laughter stopped quickly. Little Sanzi, little emperor, I will be the boss of the dormitory from now on, you all have to listen to me, remember? Zhang Tianyu. Thank you so much. You are the first one to call me, son of heaven, when I grew up, but it is a pity that the Qing dynasty has been dead for a long time, and there is no emperor. Tang San said, My name is Tang San, not Xiao Sanzi. I'll call you little Sanzi, what can you do? said, Wang Sheng pushed Tang San's shoulder. Tang San smiled lightly, turned around and walked towards a bed. Reminder. Received the task. Don't pretend to be B in front of me. Mission objective. To trick Tang San, let him pretend to be B failed, lose to Wang Sheng, tricks are not limited, but can't cause his death, and can't be seen by him you are cheating him, otherwise the mission fails, if Tang San defeats Wang Sheng, it will also be regarded as a mission failure. Mission reward. Soul power increased by two levels, a random soul skill. Failure penalty. Xiao Wu mission line closed. Reminder. A new prop, Super Glue, is available, and the free trial kit has been distributed to the storage space. Please choose whether to use it or not. Then what else to consider, of course it is used. The system is too kind, and gave a free trial package, he he he. Reminder. I will take care of you after the agreement is made, that is to take care of you. We are a system, and we keep our promises. Okay, your system can handle it, I'll cry first. Zhang Tianyu immediately opened the storage space to check. Super glue. It can be used twice, and it can stick to anything. As long as it sticks, even the gods can't tear it apart. It lasts for 10 seconds. Wang Shang and the others looked at Tang San walking towards a bed with strange faces, wondering what he was going to do in their hearts. The next second, Tang San put the newly obtained school uniform on the bed, and then his figure disappeared directly into the original land. Ghost Shadows. Under the shocked eyes of others, Tang San came behind Wang Sheng with a ghostly shadow, and punched Wang Sheng out. Fortunately, as the boss, Wang Sheng has a few brushes, his footwork is strong, and he didn't fall down, otherwise he would be like Yu Xiaoging. In the eyes of others, Tang San played very slippery with this move, and no one could catch his tracks, but in Zhang Tianyu's eyes, Tang San's speed was as slow as a snail, and only slightly faster than a tortoise. After all, at this time, Tang San's Ghost Shadow fan level is not high, while Zhang Tianyu has directly obtained the full level Ghost Shadow fan. Stinky boy, you dare to hit me, stinky boy, do you dare to hit me? Wang Sheng was furious, turned around, and rushed towards Tang San like a tiger descending a mountain. He rushed up, and was about to use a crane to catch the dragon on the spot. At this critical moment, Tang San's forward momentum suddenly stopped. His left foot was firmly stuck to the ground at this moment, motionless. And because he was advancing too fast, his inertia caused him to lose his balance, and with a plop, he hugged Mother Earth on the spot. Wang Sheng had already come close, how could he let go of such a good opportunity, and directly punched Tang San on the back three times in a row? Ah, Tang San snorted, he was completely covered. Something is wrong, something is very wrong today. After two more punches, Tang San finally stood up, wanting to use body skills to dodge, but the moment he moved, the shoe of his left foot was still firmly stuck to the ground, unable to move. This block made his body almost lose his balance. Damn it! What happened to the left shoe? What's the situation? Why does it stick firmly to the ground? But now is not the time to think about this question, Wang Sheng's fist has already hit him again. 
Tang San's eyes had turned cold, a trace of anger had appeared on his face, and he raised his hand to welcome Wang Sheng with a move to control the crane and capture the dragon. The few punches just now let him know the power of Wang Sheng, but it's just mediocre. However, what he didn't expect was that when Wang Sheng punched, a faint yellow light suddenly appeared on Wang Sheng's body, and there was a deep roar from his throat, and the power and speed of the fist suddenly increased. Enhance. Boom. Tang San didn't expect Wang Sheng to use the power of his martial soul suddenly, and without any precautions, the crane and dragon capture was broken on the spot. Tang San only felt a pain in his chest, and he lost his balance instantly and fell backwards. Misfortunes never come singly, the super glue time limit has not yet passed, and his left shoe is still firmly stuck to the ground, so when he lost his balance and fell backwards, there was a crack, and sprained his ankle. Scoff the sole of the shoe was also torn off by this force, Tang San's left foot was directly exposed to the air. Seeing this scene, everyone couldn't help laughing. Too weak. Good guy's shoes are broken. Being beaten by the boss has no power to fight back. The reason why I hit the boss at the beginning was entirely by sneak attack. That's right, if you don't sneak attack, you won't be the boss's opponent in a head-on contest. Wang Shang looked at Tang San. Are you still fighting? Do you admit defeat? Hearing the taunts in his ear and Wang Shang's questioning, Tang San's face turned blue and red, panted heavily and stood up. Just as his left foot stepped on the ground, he felt severe pain in his ankle. The sprained foot is a bit severe, it hurts even standing, let alone fighting, the foot hurts so much, I can't use Ghost Shadow, it is basically impossible to beat Wang Sheng who has used the power of Wu Hun. Hateful, I can't find this place today, Tang San gritted his teeth, even though he was extremely unwilling, he still said, stop beating, sprained ankle. Ha ha ha, sprained ankle, soul masters fight and learn from each other. We have seen all kinds of injuries, and this is the first time for sprained feet. Look at the red ankle, it's really sprained, ha ha ha. Tang San clenched his fists, only feeling angry. Shut up. Wang Shangda yelled, and the others fell silent immediately. Wang Shang continued. We are all work-study students, and the pampered young masters and ladies in the school see us as poor and bully us, so we must unite, twist into a rope. Soul masters sparring, Anything can happen, so no one is allowed to laugh at Tang San anymore. Yes, boss, everyone shouted. Of course, Zhang Tianyu didn't follow suit, it's not certain who will be the boss. Wang Shang continued, Tang San, don't mind, I didn't mean to find fault with you, the living environment of our work students is so harsh, so this boss must be a powerful person to be the boss, only a powerful person, so that we can stand up when those young masters and ladies bully us work study students, and fight with those young masters and ladies. We are poor, but we also have dignity. Even if we can tea beat them, we won tea admit defeat. Tang San's complexion looked much better, he also has such a personality, being poor is really poor, but dignity is a must. I know, I won't hold grudges against you, Tang San said. It's okay for you to hold grudges, Wang Shang said, I feel like you didn't show your strength today. It's okay. You can challenge me at any time when your feet recover. It is good. Wang Shang ordered, Li Xiao, take Tang San to the infirmary and ask the teacher for help. Okay boss. A boy stood up. No need, I can go by myself. Tang San refused others' help, and left the dormitory alone. Congratulations on the completion of the task. The soul power has been increased by two levels, and the current level is 13. Random soul skills are being extracted, and the extraction is complete. Congratulations, you have obtained the soul skill, Thunder Sword. Thunder Sword. Attract the power of thunder to attach to the blade, and the wind and thunder will dance while waving, lightning flashes and thunder, and it will paralyze the opponent after hitting. The stronger the opponent is, the shorter the paralysis time is, but it will be paralyzed for at least one second. Activate lasts for 30 seconds. Can launch lightning long range attacks, but only once. Composite Index. What do you mean? Two star soul skills? Good guy, do soul skills still have a star level? At this time, Wang Shang's voice came, Little Emperor, it's up to you next, do you want to learn from each other? Just as Zhang Tianyu was about to speak, a delicate voice came from the door. Excuse me, is this cachet? Fuck. Xiao Wu. Zhang Tianyu regained his energy immediately, and suddenly Brick looked at the door, and a pink bunny appeared in sight. Fuck, so white and tender, so beautiful and so cute. 
such a beautiful little girl, that must be mine. Thinking of Zhang Tianyu's eyes suddenly brightened, by the way, Tang San happened to go out to treat his sprained ankle at the moment. Presumably he was looking for the master, so he just isn't here now. No way, who told him that his strength is not good enough, he can't even beat a king saint, and he even sprained his ankle. That being said, he he he, if he's not here, then Xiao Wu can only belong to me. Yes, this is Kashe. Zhang Tianyu said. Xiao Wu looked up at the sign of the dormitory at the door, nodded and walked in with a smile, and said to Zhang Tianyu, Thank you for telling me, hello, my name is Xiao Wu, dancing dance. Wang Shang woke up from his dazed state, and said, My name is Wang Shang, and I'm the boss here. Unexpectedly, a girl came this year. You don't even think that this girl can still fight well. Zhang Tianyu thought, paused for a moment, and continued to say in his heart, The system and Xiao Wu have appeared, so there is no task coming out? Hint. You even want to cheat Xiao Wu? Good guy, I respect you as a beast. Zhang Tianyu rolled his eyes wildly. Fuck you, fuck me, who wants to cheat Xiao Wu? Such a beautiful and lovely girl, who would be willing to cheat? I'm talking about the task of fighting girls. Reminder. Received the mission, Yi Wu loves heart, mission objective. To gain Xiao Wu's favor, and lay the foundation for attacking Xiao Wu in the future. If you do not gain Xiao Wu's favor before midnight tonight, it will be considered a mission failure. Mission reward. Soul the strength is increased by two levels, and the follow-up Xiao Wu quest line is opened. Failure penalty, close all quests for attacking girls. Fuck, this failure penalty is a bit harsh. If this task fails, there will be no more tasks to pick up girls in the future. If you can only pick up girls but not get rewards, that would be too miserable. But this mission is impossible to fail. Isn't it just to gain favor before midnight? It couldn't be easier. Not to mention getting affection, if she's an adult, I can even get her into bed before midnight.